Yeah. That is a polar bear in a space chute riding a shark. You know, out in some galaxy far, far away. Gotta have goals in life. Can't just dick around all the time. At least that's what I tell myself. So, ladies and gentlemen, I wake up today, what do I do? I go on my website, Guitargate, to see what's going on, who's posting what, who's picking up their guitar, who's completing lessons and courses, right? And as you know, uh, as a member, you get to do React requests. And if you're a lifetime member, you get this little badge here, like Dan Peterson. So whenever I see one of those, I always look at it, right? Now, he requests Red Hot Chili Peppers Live Slain Castle Californication Jam. Now, he goes, one of the ones that made me want to start. Great intro jam. I haven't heard this song in forever. I think, you know, when I was an in-person teacher, you know, I did that for, I don't know, 10 years or so here in the Baltimore area uh, when I got back from GIT. So let's call it 2006 you know, to uh, 2016 or 15, maybe it was maybe it was eight or nine years, because I've been doing this since 13. Anyhow, I definitely learned this. So this isn't ice cold, but it might as well be, because it's been, you know, it's been seven years, eight, it's been something in there. Here we go, but I've always been a Chili Peppers fan. Always been a, a Chili Peppers fan. And this is Frushanti, it looks like. So let's do this, let's make it full screen here. Let's do all the things. You're supposed to do. All right, here we go. Red Hot Chili Peppers, Californication, live at Slane Castle. Let's see what this is all about. Flea and John up there. He's got it's an A minor jam. So it's just A minor. You got one, flat seven, five, four, flat three, one. Now that's the pentatonic. It might have the flat six and the nine in there. We'll see. But it starts on the root, flat seven to five. With with the uh, flea doing that counterpunctual, just you know, whatever he's doing in A. Let's not get too heady. Just going down in a sequence in A minor. And and so you're doing that flat three to the two there, right? So it's, it's natural minor. Let's keep going. Getting, getting too stuck in the weeds here. Lee goes up, John goes down. Cool thing happens here. The crowd starts to clap, right? And it's a little bit off. And they work together to make the clap on beat. At least that's what it sounds like. Check it. There's no clap here. Wait till it comes in. It's kind of like, oh my God, it's one of these big audiences that are clapping on the one and three again. Always. But then listen, they move it. See how they catch that? Pros.
Brown. All right, what was so great about that? Um, not that there was anything like uh, uh, impressive as far as um, technique wise or harmony or crazy scales or blah, 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 blah. What was great about that was the sense of timing and how connected he and Flea were. When one went up, one went down, you know, and vice versa. You know, th their counterpunctual thing was completely spot on. And they were so groove oriented. They're a groove oriented band. It's the frickin' Chili Peppers, right? Um, watching them, feeling them, the way Flea's doing it with his head, you know, to get the, the crowd all swelling at the same point, you know, that groove, that's just, it, you can tell where, they, where their priorities lie. And I just love to see it. I love it. Very cool thing that happens here. So you got root fifth, so it's A minor to F. So, you know, you got, um, you got, sorry, root fifth, two to flat three. So it's like your sus, you're suspending, which literally means suspending the third with the two, but then giving it right back. And then doing it with F. Your third is A, so you're doing G to A, because you're in key here. So this is A minor. You're really in the key of C, because you know what it does that in the verse, or the chorus, it goes. So you got C, G, and F. So that's one, four, five, and C. Coming in here, you got a six chord, right, to a four. A minor to F. Sussing it out with the two and then bringing the third back. Look at that crowd. The sun may rise in the east, at least it's settled in a final location. It's understanding how the woods is getting more in case. Melody's all A minor, right? By the way, why that works, when it goes up to the E, that's over the C, right? It's understanding Hollywood sells California. It goes to the D minor, that's a two chord there. But the E is the major third of C. Again, be a third hunter, right? Chord tones make good melodies. You know this. We all know this, right? When it goes to the G, right? There's your nine in the key of C, but that is, that is D, which is the fifth of G. And when it goes down to C, that is the fifth of F. And when it goes up to D, that's now the root of your two chord, which you go to. Straight on the rails. And resolve right on the tonic, the root of A minor. Marry me 
Prashanti coming in with that high A. Then... For all of you that don't audiate, if you're trying to build your inner ear, right, and you're a backup guitar player or whatever and you just want to hit those, I'm terrible at it, but getting in the process of audiating is really the best thing because you not only hear it, you feel the vibration, and especially when you have tremendous volume like that, it all syncs. It's like when you're tuning your guitar and you get the shake, right? When you got the monitor screaming in the amps and you're coming out with your voice right there, you know, and you're a little bit off, it wavers. You feel it. That inner ear is a real thing. So that... Right? Audiate. Space may be the final frontier, but it's made Love in the Hollywood basement. Cobain, can you hear the spear singing songs of station to station? I hear Seven root of A minor. That's the harmonies, by the way. Three. That's such a solid drum. Sharp minor. Sometimes, sometimes the ear plays games on you. Sometimes it doesn't. weird solo. I love that he's just clean though. I love that he's just just doesn't hit a pedal like he's just totally totally clean. All right so it comes in F sharp to D uh, but then there's some movement. There's some there's some there's some moving around that happens here. Um, let's go back and get some of this. Sharp minor. Coming in on the F sharp, which again is the major third of D. Right? tones. He went to GIT. He's a third hunter. Got an E here. So we're going down to A minor.
to that C sharp. So still thinking F sharp minor pretty much. Is it? Right? Is it? So it's like B minor now. So your relative minor of, of D. So it's almost like you modulate a little bit because that would be B diminished in your, if we were staying in key. And then over to A. What is that last chord he goes to, Michael? Just E. Think it too hard. Think it too hard. Six, uh, six, uh, so yeah, uh, two, four, one, five. Uh, two, four, one, five in the key of A is what it goes to. And then obviously it, it, so it's A major and then goes back to A minor, which is what the, which is what the thing is. That's where you get that key change. So it modulates to its relative major. That's two. We're getting two in the weeds here. I know. We're going to post it anyway. It's how we live. It's how we live. Which, by the way, the dead giveaway is C sharp, A major, right? And when you're in A minor, when it goes to the, the right away, it goes to the C. It's all about the thirds. The thirds create chord function. That's the thing. C to C sharp. That's really the the weave that happens. Yeah, dude, I, I I love Chad Smith as a drummer. He reminds me a lot of like a Joey Kramer, um, someone who doesn't really ever get too flashy, and if they do, they save it for like the very end. But they are just rock solid. When you're in a big stadium band like that, flashiness doesn't always translate. It gets it gets splashy. You know, it gets real gray and shh, shh in the back of the stadium. You know, you need just the solid beat. This band has always been a rhythm first band. You know, they're a funk band. George Clinton produced their first record. It's the Chili Peppers, right? It, and so first and foremost, you know, that's what I love. Even in the first improvisational part, it's clear, it's very, very clear that it's the rhythm, you know, it's the groove that they're most concerned with. And then harmonically for the song, you know, it's in A minor or C major, it's the same key. Um, you got that little hook in the first two chords, A minor, uh, sus two up, you know, and then adding in the major third or the minor third, and then F sus two adding in the major third there. So adding in the minor third for A, right? And the major third for F. Um, you know, they make it seventh sometimes, you know, F major seven, you heard in there, it strums a little bit. When it goes down to the chorus, it switches over to C, right, it's relative major, C, G, F, D minor. 
So one, five, four, two. Uh, and then in the solo section, it modulates to the key of A, starting with F sharp. So you got an F sharp, that's your six. You got an E, um, which is your five. You got a D, which is your four, and A, which is your one. And so it switches major to minor. That scale he's playing, F sharp minor, for the most part, or A major, those are relative majors and minors, they contain the same note. But then when he goes up, you see him really focus on that C sharp, which is the third of A. That really sells that A major, because the third, more than any other note, creates chord function. Again, you know this. He's a GIT guy, he knows this. Um, and then it goes back to A minor. All your melodies are straight on the rails A minor. Um, always a chord tone, nothing squirrely in here. Just a great tune. Huge crowd, super big hooks. You know, it's the Chili Peppers. Great groove, what's not to love? There you go. All right, guys, have a good one. Thank you for liking, subscribing, dropping links in the comments. Show me what we should do. All genres are safe. Just give me live tracks. You know I like live tracks. And uh, if you want some extra inspiration, motivation, some guidance on getting better at this thing, uh, to make you pick this thing up every day, I hope you'll consider clicking the first link in the description and joining me and tons of other over people over at guitargate.com. You get all my step-by-step -step courses, weekly lessons, you get priority react requests like today's example, you get a little shout out on YouTube, and you get discounts on gear. So if you wanna buy yourself a nice new PRS or something, save 10% off a sticker, you know, not Guitar Center. And, uh, and there you go, cheers.